Lots of doctors tell their patients to lose weight, eat healthy, and exercise, but one internal medicine doctor at Scripps Health decided to take it a step further, doing medical intervention in the gym instead of his office. Dr. Dave Clayton, creator of the Clayton MD Total Health Program, is here to tell us how it works. And Paul Fanfara tells us what it's like from the patient's point of view. Welcome. Thank now, you. Dr. Clayton, why did you, uh, why did you think this uh, program was necessary and what does it involve? You know, there's a couple of factors that led into me starting this program. And first is that when somebody comes to me looking for guidance on fitness and nutrition, I really have very few places to send them. And people are getting more and more frustrated by the fact that they're getting additional medications added every time they go to see the doctor. And these are for conditions that we know to be linked to diet and exercise, things like blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes. So what I wanted to do was create a solution really for uh, people who are dealing with these metabolic problems to take best practices, research-based techniques, and deliver it in the gym uh, setting where people are spending most of their time trying to improve their health. And you actually meet your patients there? Absolutely. Yes, I started this a couple of years ago, inviting patients out to the gym, and I've kept doing it ever since. And it, it's not just exercise, though. It also includes diet? 100 percent, yes. Okay. okay. Paul, you were one of the first patients to participate in this program. Why did you decide to do it? I was really overweight, and uh, just getting an increasing amount of medication each year as I was getting older. I was 67 at the time. Uh, and blood pressure going up, cholesterol going up, no matter what I did, except I wasn't eating well and I wasn't exercising at all. So, so it, it's changed your, your weight? How, how has it changed your health? Yeah, I've lost 45 pounds. I've dropped from a 40-inch waist to a 32-inch waist. Uh, and I've dropped uh, several medications. Uh, so, well, what, what was it about the program that you think helped you most? Was it the exercise, the diet, some combination thereof? Well, I was told when I started that it would be 70% diet, 30% exercise, and I think that's fairly accurate in my case. Uh, and then um, I, once I lost the weight, it took about 14, 15 months, uh, then the exercise seems to kick in and keep you at a maintenance weight. Uh, so it, it's a combination that uh, changes places as you go along. As it, as it changes. Now, Dr. Clayton, um, who is this program for? What kind of patients and who maybe should be also on traditional medications still? You know, I think about 70% 70, 70 or so of what we see in the office, what I see in my internal medicine office as problems really comes down to diet and exercise. So those are the issues that this is for. And, you know, in your 20s and 30s, it's very easy to out-train your diet. And, you know, all we have to do is just restrict calories and we start to lose weight and feel better. It's when we hit our 40s, 50s and beyond that you've really got to take a much more structured approach to diet and exercise, both for injury prevention and to achieve the best cardiometabolic health and to achieve uh, improvement on the biometrics that we follow in the office, the blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes. But so. this program, let's say, if you have congestive heart failure or you have or a heart disease or you have, let's say, um, a stroke or arteriosclerosis, that would still need to be monitored by a, a medical physician. Uh, it's true, and this isn't acute care. This isn't cardiac rehab. What it is, it's really taking the place of where uh, medicine right now leaves you off. So, you know, once we've you know, discharged you from the hospital, once you've left cardiac rehab, or just simply once you've taken it upon yourself to change your life and improve your diet and exercise, healthcare really has nothing for you at this point. So what we do is we, we send you to another fitness facility and we say, good luck with that. Come back in six months and let us know how it goes. So that's where it's different here. Now, Paul, you're 69 years old, I understand, and look yes. terrific. What were your concerns when you were going to start this program? Uh, primarily that I was going to get into another exercise program with a bunch of 20 and 30 somethings next to me and you know they kind of look over in the corner at the old fat guy and sneer and you feel uncomfortable and awkward in that kind of setting. Uh, Dr. Clayton uh, though provides a, a venue where you're in there with people in their, from their mid 50s into their mid 80s uh, and we all have the same goals in mind. We're all trying to achieve the same things in terms of diet and exercise. And uh, it's a friendly group. Uh, he keeps it friendly. It's, there's a sense of comradeship. It's, it's really not, not easy quite going. as competitive as the 20 year olds, maybe. Perhaps. Exactly. <laughs> now, Dr. Clayton, how much does your program cost and does insurance pay for it? 
So insurance doesn't cover anything that we do. And unfortunately right now, your insurance covers very brief visits with your doctor. And I think it's, it really just doesn't meet the needs that we're trying to fill. I see this as uh, taking the place more of the structured uh, physical fitness programs that insurance generally doesn't cover. So, you know, we go to group fitness classes, we go to yoga, we go to other places. So we charge 275 a month, which slots in less than a personal trainer and about what other group fitness costs. All right. Well, where is it? There's a lot more information on our website, kpbs.org. Dr. Dave Clayton and Paul Fanfara, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.